Hey, what's cracking like it's your boy Brochmo, just in case you did not know so, and we're, we're back. We're back. We were supposed to do this Tuesday. I was a little under the weather. The voice was starting to go. I had to nurse it a little bit. I'm sorry. I had to take, I had to take a day off, is what it is. I had to take a night off, let's be honest. I don't take the whole day off. I've been a busy bee last couple of days. But if you're not familiar with what we are doing here today, before I get to the lovely chat, thank you all, all so much for being here. If y'all could hit that thumbs up for me. But we are doing a, a mock draft, two rounds with trades. It's going to be two minutes per pick, so I'm going to give you all a little time to orchestrate trades. And that's right, I said y'all, because this isn't just me doing a mock draft, but you could take part in it as well. You're going to be drafting against real life other people, the nice, lovely people in the chat and how you do that is becoming a premium member at walk the mock follow the link in the description use promo code bro Schmo. gets you 20 percent off so it'll be four dollars a month instead of five i know we're late into the draft cycle so if you just want it for a month just get it for a month we're gonna do probably like probably about Seven to ten more of these, with one being a seven-round mock draft. But let's go ahead, take a gander at the nice people in the chat. I'm first going to hit the X clear, because my allergies have sucked this week, man. They really have. Like, my eyes, my nose, my throat, everything. Everything's out of sorts. I know, Gojo, it sucks. Woo. Oh, this X clear stuff's... It hits hard. Oh. All right, uh, Gojo, you want out? All right, buddy. Be free. All right, six minutes till we go live with the mock draft. But got a few of y'all in here. We got Joel, Zachary, DJ. Got the Boat Knicks fan. How you doing, buddy? Got Ozzy Yinzer. Ozzy Yinzer. Golly, that's a, a name. I think I said that the last time I saw it, too, or read it. Uh, Nintendo Mike, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? We got Sangy. We got Mean Streak. Good name. What up, Dustin? How you doing, buddy? Martell. Got Augustine. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Uh, a production schedule, because he's going to go shoot, shoot movies for like the next six months or so. Uh, we got the... the uh, Mark, how you doing, buddy? Uh, can the Bears finish the story and finally develop a quarterback? Well, we'll find out in the next two to three years. Mike, you doing a mock draft on Saturday? I don't know yet. I don't know because I think Saturday morning I'm going to have a collab come out. Um, I'm going to be recording that tomorrow with someone you really like. Uh, yes, Cole, we got trades tonight. Got Jacob Avery. What's the percent chance Joe Alt goes five, in your opinion? I put it at like 25. I really think seven's a spot, but not out of the realm of possibility. We got Y2S up in here. Cole, you're the Colts tonight. Godspeed. Hey, Nintendo Mike. Oh. I'm glad you're having a good day. Thank you. Thank you for asking first. How about that? Sounds like a real yinzer right now. Oh, gosh. Uh, Big Zay, how's my day? Not too bad. I updated my big board. Um, I just went ahead, uh, gave every, I gave everybody ranks that I had listed uh, unfortunately, a lot of that's just based on uh, like the lower guys that are probably UDFAs uh, that I hadn't watched, that I just haven't got a chance to get to, based a lot of that just on the analytics, based on uh, their pro day numbers. There's a couple of guys that uh, I am going to go back and do, but for the large part, my like evals are done. So, so I was kind of doing that today, but a lot of draftable grades. In this class, a lot of draftable grades. Only 30 first round grades. But like 280 guys having like draftable grades is kind of ludicrous for a class. 
Uh, do you have a no no big board on walk the mock? I'm first gonna do a video on my top 200 before I even do that. So thoughts on the AEW drama? I really don't care. Like I'm very neutral. They show they show the footage. I think it makes them look stupid. They tried to put it in a storyline, but I don't know. I just think Tony Khan's petty. I uh, I think how however you felt about the whole CM Punk. AEW situation it didn't change your opinion on it at all uh what do you think of cody winning the title i'm ecstatic thank you roman reigns but you had your time and i'm quite done with it. uh i'm currently mocking for the raiders i might change that i don't know if someone else wants to jump on the raiders i'm more than happy to hop off here i'll hop on to like uh uh, I'll hop, I'll hop onto the Panthers if someone wants to hop onto the Raiders. Uh, I unidentified as, uh, what do you think about the Falcons getting Quinion Mitchell in round one and Chop Robinson in round two? I like that. I don't mind that one bit. Oh, Nintendo might UConn, congrats to UConn was an easy pick for the NCAA tournament. Easy. It was just a matter of who else was gonna get there. Ended up coming third in my uh uh it was like this big buy-in. Uh you could put in like two tournament, like two brackets, but you had to pay twenty dollars per bracket. Uh and uh came in third. And then my other uh my other bracket came in fifth. So it was winner take all, so unfortunately lost out. Uh, if Adonai and Morgan were on the board for the Ravens, who would they get? Uh, I, I don't know. That's tough. I think I'd go Morgan, knowing that he played guard immediately. And just like, again, with the sh sheer depth of this wide receiver class. Uh, David White or Ryan Flournoy, which small school receiver is better? I'm a big Flournoy, oh, Flournoy guy. When he showed up to the Senior Bowl and looked like he belonged, I was a big fan of that. All right, we got Jets still available. We got Browns still available. Ah, correct me. I got to correct myself. I got the Browns still available. Hey, who wants to pick at 54? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into this. Uh, no draft bros this week, as far as I know, since I will be recording that collab Friday night. Uh, talk to Alex, see if we could do it another time. Uh, we haven't figured out anything. I'm kind of in a tight spot, too, because my Sunday doesn't look great either. Unless we do Sunday night. I'll hit, I'll hit him up, see if he's okay with Sunday night. But even that, man, it, it might be a stretch. Brandon Smith choked for Purdue. Uh, you like how Vince McMahon is a forbidden word now? Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, who do you prefer? I prefer Adonai Mitchell over Xavier Worthy. So the first round has started. Chicago Bears, the pick is in. Show me some someone that's not Caleb Williams. Thank God it's Caleb Williams, man. I didn't want this, uh, this walk the mock to be a sham right from the get-go. Oh, Knicks fans, how how have I been? I've been good, dude. I've been good. Just allergies have been killing me, dude. Uh, oh, Nintendo Mike. Alex is, uh, he's Hail Mary Sports. If you don't know him by any other name, I always call him Alex because uh, that's what I know him by. Uh, we've been doing the Draft Bros streams once a week, typically Friday nights. Uh, unfortunately, me and him, we're, we're, we've been doing collabs with other people and unfortunately the collab I have in mind uh ends up falling on Friday night. <laughs> Martel, is it true if I rip off all my takes for water football? If only I was that good. If only I was that good. Jaden Daniels going to the commanders. Uh kind of the big rumor out there is in fact that Jaden Daniels will be going number two. So Big rumor. I thought his name was Dan. Nah, his name ain't Dan. I am Scott. What up, my dude? Bear down. Anything from WrestleMania that surprised you? 
Uh, Gunther. Gunther lo losing surprised me. Uh, Martel, we also do go by draft hosts. Uh, yeah, Gunther definitely losing. That that shocked me a little bit. Um, Undertaker kind of being the guy that uh, came out to take on The Rock at the, in that Cody match. Surprised me a little bit. I was kind of hoping it was Stone Cold, but I heard Stone Cold wasn't even, you know, in Philly. All right, so we do have a trade. We have the Vikings moving up three to get Drake May. Cost them 11, 23, and a third rounder next year. Broncos make a move. I'd like to see how much you gave away for that. Uh, do you know how I found your channel? Google search? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was a stream, right? Nintendo Mike, you hopped on during the stream. It was during Tom. Oh, it was Tom Grassi's raid. That's right. Uh, that was such a special time, man. Man, I... Tom Grassi's such a great guy. And if I knew a way to get him on the channel, I would. In terms of how it would make sense for my content, because I don't do just I don't do team specific mocks just because it kind of kills my algorithm. That's why I'm doing the team specific mocks as like division by division, just because kills my mark, uh, my my uh, what's it called? My kills the algorithm less. There we go. Marvin Harrison going to the Cardinals. We got J.J. McCarthy going to the Broncos at five. Broncos give up 12 this year, a first next year, and the third rounder this year. So they said, get this draft. Let's get our quarterback. All right. Some interesting things going on here. Let me flip the camera angle for y'all. I, I think that angle works better for y'all. See, see who's all getting gotten taken off the board. Uh, is Marcus coming on Draft Bros with a three-way mock godly? That would be fun. Yeah, instead of me and Alex arguing at one another about trades. <laughs> oh, man. Alex was talking to me. I think it was yesterday and maybe the day before. Can't remember. No, no, it was definitely the day before. It was like, man, a lot of people did not like, did not like how you came at me. And I was like, I was like, Alex. Back to back, we took trades that you wanted. The one trade I want, I wanted to shoot through. You just shot down. So I was like, you know what? This is gonna be the hill I die on. I, and I always turn up the personality. I always turn it up to eleven, you know, because you want to be entertaining as well. And it looks like some of his audience uh, didn't like that. <laughs> and I always say, say, I always say, I always tell y'all, guy, y'all, you know, when I get hot talking to y'all like about a take like the whole florida state not getting in the national championship or in the college football playoff i do a lot of things in jest don't take me serious you know like that might maybe my take but i'm just kind of revving it up to to 20 just to be a little bit more entertaining so apparently they didn't like that oh yeah apparently gojo and akila are fighting about something uh, we got Brock Bowers going to the Giants. The news is Darren Waller doesn't know if he's going to retire or not. It's kind of up in limbo, so it's a possibility. I think I still go with receiver, more valuable position. Uh, unidentified says, who do you think is the most likely to be a bust? Yeah, I think it's J.J. McCarthy. I kind of agree with Marcus, uh, that franchise guy. I kind of agree with J.C. Latham. It didn't click to me until he said, like, I think this guy has probably the biggest possibility of being a bust. And then I looked to my comp, because I made my comp, like, probably, like, if you have my draft guide, y'all know I've had comps out for a while. Uh, and I looked at my comp, and it was, like, Evan Neal, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. So I, I'm starting to think I kind of agree with uh, that possibility, that take. It being potentially J.C. Latham, but again, I I don't wish, I don't wish bad on any of these prospects. I hope they all succeed. The unfortunate unfortunate truth is they can't all succeed. Uh, Sangi uh probably doesn't mean much, but been hearing Eagles are wanting to pay uh play now instead uh players instead of projects in the early rounds. Ooh, that's that's interesting. 
Kurt Hook was going to NXT. I don't know what his contract's like. He's still pushed heavily in AEW, so I don't know about that. But, I mean, AEW has a good track record of, even if guys are going to finish up their contracts and go elsewhere, of putting them on TV. They did it for Andrade. They did it for Cody. Uh, Nintendo Mike, when I start my channel, I will be doing mock drafts. It's the way to go. People love mock drafts. Joe Alt going to the tight ends. He's never in doubt. Sangy, I was playing the hill. You're darn right. Mark, did you think... Okay, Mark, straight up. I did, when I heard the shield music... I knew it wasn't going to happen, but part of me believed I was going to see Mox come down there with, uh, <laughs> with Seth Rollins. Like, there were, like I knew it wasn't going to be likely, but part of me was like, there's a chance. <laughs> and there wasn't. <laughs> there was no chance. Because apparently he was, uh, Mox is currently in Japan. So. Uh, so the Chargers move up. And with the Falcons, they swap first and second round picks, and the Falcons get an extra third. So that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good trade there. Drake Rodriguez visited the Raiders. Uh, that's Levi Drake Rodriguez. Uh, Landon, you were the cat that told me to go watch him in my um in my DMs on X, right? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm actually, I got a few, a few, uh, what do you call them? Uh, scouting reports? I guess you would say a few evals that I'm about to drop onto the, uh, onto the draft guide. Uh, just, they're not done yet. I got a few, a uh, few new ones, but honestly, for the most part, the, I feel like I've looked at everyone I wanted to look at. Uh, I do want to go back and actually... Watch a little bit more of some of the running backs in here. I don't know. Running backs just such an easy position to watch. It's a fun one at that. Uh, we got Malik Neighbors going to the Chargers after the trade up. Roma Dunze going to the Bears. Captain Spartan. Uh, do you think there's any chance, any legit chance, JPJ or Frazier falls to fifty? Ooh, centers can fall. We saw that with uh, Joe Tipman and Jack. Er, John Michael Schmitz last year. 51, man, though. That's a stretch. That's a stretch. Then again, John Michael Schmitz made it to 58, I believe, last year. I'll take. Uh, I would draft Ladd over Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, I don't think that's that hot of a take. I mean, the receivers, and I think they're so tight in this class. I don't think... I wouldn't be really... I wouldn't really be surprised by a wide receiver take unless it was like something different from like the top three. Dustin, you thought the same thing about about Mox? Yeah, dude. When you hear that music and it took him all that time, like just the suspense, and I, I thought we were about to get it. Uh, are we getting wasted for draft night? Nope. Nope. I don't drink like that. Responsible father, what can I say? JC Latham going to the Jets after we talked about all that bus. <laughs> all that bus talk. Uh, Landon, yes. Uh, I recruited him as a college student coach. He played tackle in high school and defensive end in the NAI, NAIA. Uh, blah, and then DT at Commerce. Uh, high motor, great kid. Yeah. Like. Honestly, because it's kind of weird, because I actually watched some Texas A&M Commerce tape last year, because I forgot the Edge's name. There was an Edge. Uh, he ended up shooting me some of his tape last year, and I kind of liked him as like a priority priority UDFA. I don't know, I don't know where he is now. Uh, has Cooper overtaken Arnold after his pro day? Well, I've never been. I've I've always been a Cooper guy. I think if you liked Arnold, you probably still like Arnold better. If you were on the fence, maybe you lean one way or the other. I was, for me, it wasn't a matter is Cooper ahead of Arnold. It was, I'm trying to fit, like, I'm stuck between Terry and Arnold and Kool-Aid McKintree. That's kind of where I'm at. Uh, with the recent Tavondre Sweat news, which DTs are more likely to rise up now? Like uh, Mason Smith. Yeah. I mean, I don't think 
I don't think there will be any like DT's rise, but I think it's just he falls. Like I moved him down my board, and I was like, man, I got to like that eight nine range on my defensive interior rankings, and I was like, I really can't, I really can't put him any lower than that. I really can't. Okay, the uh, Patriots go with Tanise Fuanga. That's interesting. I guess you're kind of hoping he could play right, uh, left tackle. Well, maybe Michael Wainu plays left tackle. I don't know. I feel like Michael Wainu. I mean, he was playing right tackle last year. I think you're probably looking for a left tackle if you're the Patriots. But with like Sweat, I honestly think like just because his size is so rare, it might not kick him out of day two. But he's gonna be like fringe. And I mean fringe. Uh, Graham Barton is a center or guard. Uh, he could moonlight as a tackle, but that's not. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Mark says Nightbird glitches. Hello, Uncle Howdy. Yeah. I mean, if you watch the Bo Dallas, or not the Bo Dallas, but the Bray Wyatt documentary, it kind of hinted at Bo Dallas was coming back as Uncle Howdy or... At least he was going to try to continue the story some way. Arnold gives me disappointment vibes. I don't know why. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I get that. I get that. He was heavily targeted this year just because Kool-Aid was so locked down. Uh, Johnny Newton over Byron Murphy. Not a hot take at all. I think those two guys are very close to one another. Dallas Turner going to the Falcons. And we got Brian Thomas going to the Jags. Band of Atlanta, bro Schmo, your thoughts. Atlanta taking Liatu Latu, Mari Lassiter, Michael Hall Jr., Roger Rosengarden, uh, Chris Amon Strain, Brandon Rice, Frank Gore, and Jordan Travis. I don't think you need to take Jordan Travis. That'd be probably the one thing I'd change. Like, if Frank Gore, undersized back, didn't test extremely that well, those guys just don't typically translate, unfortunately. Um, big reason why Bucky Irvin got Knocked out of my top 10 running backs. Uh, and I mean, yeah, if you're Atlanta, you don't, you don't need to take the heir apparent right now. And I think Jordan Travis, the, the ceiling isn't nearly that high. So uh, Dustin Reynolds says, how do you join the draft? Well, this one's all full, but if you become a member at Walk the Mock, follow the link in the description of this stream. Then uh, if you become a premium member there, use promo code BROSHMO, gets you money off. Then you can take part in one of these. We typically do two to three a week. Uh, John, he asks, what team could be a realistic trade-up team in the later first trade-up with the Jets at 11? Ugh. That's kind of tough, man. That's kind of tough. All the tackles are going to be there. Romadunze is probably not. I don't know if there's going to be like a very luxurious or a very sexy trade-up candidate there at 10. Troy Fatanu going to the Cowboys. Uh, you got to think maybe like a team like the Eagles maybe would be willing to do business. They want to go up, maybe get a corner, get an immediate impact player right there. Uh, da, 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 da. okay, yeah, Nintendo Mike. I already know you were a line eye fan. I trade down as the Colts. Good job. Colts should trade down. And just throw it away that next year's draft capital because it doesn't matter. Uh, do you consider the Bears a desperate team at edge? Uh, right now, I mean, they could bring in, like, some veteran talent and be all right and get by on Montez Sweat. Like, I think Yannick Nagakwe is still out there. Currently, Demarcus Walker, but he kicks inside on passing downs. They've been trying to develop Dominique Robinson, bringing Khalid Kareem. Uh, they got Jacob Martin there. I mean, yeah, you probably want to bring in a guy or two. I mean, if they can do that in this draft, that'd be awesome. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Jared Verse going to the Cardinals. What up, Jacobs? Says, what up? Uh, would it shock you if the Niners trade up for a guy like Liatu Latu or Byron Murphy? 
kind of? I mean, I don't really recall, at least in recent years, the Niners being very aggressive in the first round. Jeez. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not accepting trades for this one, guys. I'm not going to accept trades. Uh, with that saying, what position do you think the Eagles go? I mean, dude, it's corner. Corner. Versatility would be wild. Yeah, but you need a corner. I think uh, Eagles maybe may I honestly, I really like them making a move for like a Quinion Mitchell. Really do. Uh, Nintendo Mike, to answer the Bears being desperate at edge from a Bears fan, the answer is definitely I will take a good edge. Should check the price that the, the Jags. Yeah, people just throw it away. They they just throw away next year's draft capital because, I mean, we're only doing a two-rounder. So, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about doing these trade ones because nobody respects next year's draft class like because we're not going to be doing that, so it doesn't matter. So you could throw the, away that draft capital for it. Uh, Dustin, he says, if you're Minnesota, do you trade up for a quarterback or stick best player available at 11 and draft either Bo Nix or Michael Penix at 23? I mean, if they miss out on, like, Drake May or Gigi McCarthy, then, yeah, you kind of got to, right? You could probably get a really good edge there, or they could go with defensive interior. That's an option, and then, yeah, you could go Bo Nix or Michael Penix at 23 on mitchell going to the seahawks that actually kind of works out because uh sounds like witherspoon's gonna be playing slot full time and they currently have michael jackson <laughs> and reek woolen uh starters on the outside trey brown really good depth player there who could actually honestly probably a better option to start than michael jackson Lance Boykins, that's a uh, old. Is that Coastal Carolina? I think player. All right, we got Eagles moving up right here. Except for the Trey Lance trade, I don't know what that means. Uh, could I don't know? Are you trying to why two S? Are you trying to reference like the Minnesota training up for a quarterback? I mean, it doesn't obviously it doesn't work all the time, but I mean, I'd want to take a shot at one of these quarterbacks. I'd be willing to roll the dice. That's a franchise changing move. Franchise chasing, ch change and move. If you really like one of the one of these quarterbacks, go up and get them. A lot of Illinois players are going to be in next year's class. Oh, I don't, I didn't know that. I don't really think I have a ton of them on my summer watch list, but year changes everything. Uh, Mark, if Dallas goes QB in round one, does that mean the end? Yes, yes, that means the end of Dak. They go quarterback in round one. I don't see them doing it, but yes. Uh, Zangy, if those corners are gone, I wouldn't mind trading back and get in Rakestraw or Melton and trade up for Cooper. That's fair. Uh, Terry Arnold going to the Eagles. We got a Marius Mims going to the Bengals. Brandon Bean said something similar about trading up for a QB. About how future draft picks don't matter if he's gone anyway and the QB doesn't work out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, he was saying that in reference to Josh Allen. It's like, oh, what if we don't hit? I don't know. I won't be around long enough if he doesn't. I mean, think about... Think about teams that have had... Elite, if not top 10 level quarterbacks that have just been able, like, essentially been able to be on cruise control and just have that type of job security. 
Like, you look at, like, Sean McDermott. You look at um, Jim Harbaugh, granted. I mean, he had to move up at the back end of the second round. That's not really a great example. But, uh, dude, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, dude, Andy Reid's basically on cruise control at this point. Uh, where are there? I mean, there, obviously there's examples that go, you know, the other way. But if you're able to hit that, like, the reward is way bigger than the risk, I think. Because even if you don't risk, like, don't go out on a limb to try to get that guy, there's a good chance you're not kept around. Like, you can't, you can't stay around because you never found that guy, you know? You got Johnny Newton going to the Rams and Olu Fashanu going to the Packers. Uh, Jalen Daniels, Devin Neal, Jacoby Bryant are in next year's class. Yeah, for Kansas. Um, also, the other running back from Kansas is pretty good. It's like H Higsaw? Higsaw? Can't remember, but he's pretty good too. Don't sleep on him. Byron Murphy going to the Dolphins. Fins up, baby. Fins up. Darius Robinson or Chop. Depends on what you're looking for because those are two very different style edge players. Uh, the noise players probably not on anyone's list, but I still think of them. Uh, I still think of any team I take a square replacement. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna say you can't lock him in here if you're gonna if you're gonna feed him. You're gonna go nuts. Be like, why you lock me in this room with this goofball? And you're gonna feed the fat one. All right, Raiders. Their pick is in. It's Nate Wiggins. Uh, there will probably be a team who surprisingly takes a QB: Seahawks, Rams, Dolphins, Cowboys. I don't think in the first round. I honestly could see the Rams going in on quarterback at some point. I don't think the Dolphins will. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think the Cowboys will either. So I could see the Rams. I feel like the Seahawks are actually going to be pretty confident with Sam Howe. Uh, Colt Snipes, the old Colts GM, Ryan Grigson. Uh, Even though he was terrible, basically had so much shop security with luck carrying him. I mean, dude, a franchise quarterback will do that for you. With Goff and Herdon, does Detroit need a third-string quarterback? No. I mean, dude, you drafted Herdon in the second round. If you're already looking for, like, oh, man, we need to find a different guy to develop, then it ends up being a... Yeah, you goofed on that draft pick. But you don't know what you have in Herdon. Hopefully, he looks good in camp. Because that's it's not like he's going to be seeing the field. I want be look like if you want you could go out and get an emergency quarterback, like a third strainer. But I I won't be trying to draft one. Who are you taking for the Dolphins? Byron Murphy or Jackson Powers Johnson? Golly, I love both those players. I really do. I would probably go with Byron Murphy. He's higher on my board, and I have a little bit more faith in this deep, in this uh offensive interior class. Uh, Cole Snipes, do you think that the Lions take a QB? Like, no, I don't. Uh, Adonai Mitchell going to the Saints. So Saints did trade back. So did the Steelers. Uh, Liatu Latu going to the New England Patriots. Uh, do you know if the NCAA is getting rid of bowl games? No, they're not getting rid of bowl games. If anything, they're going to make bowl game. They're going to make the college football playoff bigger. And then just use the bowl games there. We're here in the quarterfinals of the college football playoff in the Pop-Tarts Bowl. I mean, that's what's going to happen. Hey, I'm awake. What are you? What are you up to, bud? I uh, can't believe the draft is only two weeks away. Remember when free agency started? And that was a month ago. Yeah. That flies. Thoughts on Roger Rosengarten. Going in the second, someone uh, looking for a pure right tackle uh, who could also potentially play guard. I like him in the second. 
I've seen him in first round mocks. I don't like it. Like, if you take him like, if you take him second or third, that's I think that's the right value. You take him like around like pick forty five to pick fifty five. I think that's a little early, but in this class, like there's so much talent that yeah, he's gonna be lower on other people's boards. But I think that's about the right range for him. Uh, da, 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 to the mic. Well, what about the rest of the teams who aren't in the playoffs? Well, then they're gonna play in the lower bowls. They're not gonna do away with bowls like the NCAA. They get so much revenue off those bowl games. They're not doing away with bowls. If anything, they might add more as they continue to expand. <laughs> so we had a bunch of new teams last year. Like, shoot, let's just take a look at some of the new teams that are gonna be. Uh, now a part of the uh, Division One, Cooper DeJean going to the Colts. Let's see. Let's go. Excuse me. Uh, the, what did the Eagles trade to move up? Uh, dude, honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think trades really matter. Uh, in this because people are giving away the house in some of these. So it's a pick swap. You swap the first. Uh, they swap a second. For, or uh, they swap their second for a third and get a six back as well. Uh, do you think edge rusher uh, edge rushers are getting overpaid? Josh Allen, bro no, Josh Allen earned his money. Brian Burns, he has yet to have that breakout year like Josh Allen did this past season. All right, let's take a look at some of these new teams entering college football uh, this year. Um, nothing in the Mountain West. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the new Mountain West? No, they still got the Pac-12 up here. What the heck? No, give me... Ne okay, give me next year's conferences. What the heck? Uh, let's see. All right. So do, 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 do. let's see new teams. I'm looking for new teams because I know they, I know some of the lower divisions added some uh, Division two schools. So we got Jax Powers Johnson going to the Bucks. Graham Barding going to the Steelers. Um. Uh, what does the Pac-12 look like in 2024? It doesn't. <laughs> it's so. Oh no, there's some group of five teams. I know there are. Oh, it was only showing me the Power Five. And the AAC for some reason. I mean, okay, this one goes back to February, but I th think. There's newer ones out here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, the ACC didn't add any. Uh, I'm looking for former D1 schools. Uh, and okay, Kenshaw State. They're now going to be part of Conference USA. Uh, they're new. I mean, just last year they added Jackson's Jacksonville State, and um, I think they added Sam Houston. Just this past season. But they're going to be adding Kenshaw State next year. Uh, we go to the MAC. Are they adding anybody? No. It's tightly knit, dude. People don't leave the MAC. Uh, Pac-12 doesn't exist. Uh, I'm pretty sure Delaware is on its way somewhere. I'm... Or maybe that's in the future. I know Delaware is making the move to D1. Are they an independent? Yo, pause. I know they I know they didn't just add one one school. Delaware football division one.
Oh, yeah. Delaware will officially join in 2025. So they're a year out. Okay, see. But, yeah, I mean, they're, the NCAA, the Division D1, they're an FBS. They're continuing to add new teams. So uh, we got Xavier Worthy going to the Bills. I do have a pick coming up, so I got to be wary. Kool-Aid, McKinstry going to Lions, Ladd going to the Titans, and then uh, Bo Nix going to the Patriots. Uh, who do you think we're playing? Uh, replaces the Pac-12 and the Power 5? Nobody. It's just going to be the Power 4. Dude, they're going for a Power 2. Like, they just want Big 10. They just want... Yeah, I'm good. Uh, they, ju they want just the big, the big 10 and the SEC. Like, the Big 12 is cool doing their own thing, and they're always going to stick around because Big 12 is pretty well organized. Uh, but the ACC, dude, it is. It might be on its last legs, man. You already got big teams like Florida State, Clemson, NC State. I think North Carolina trying to leave. They're on its last legs. Uh, Michael Penix going to the Giants. A lot of good players on the board here. All right, let's check out my top wide receivers. So we got, did Lad go? Okay, Lad did go. Um, so I'm kind of looking at Ryan Parasol, Xavier Leggett. Oh, that's such a toughie. Okay, let's look at corners real quick. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not in love with the corner class early second round. I'm just not. Uh what about center? Do I go just Zach Frazier and wait? Uh I could go edge. I mean Darius Robinson's kinda of, I mean I could go Marshawn Nealand. I really could. I would love Marshawn Nealand. I mean, I would love a bigger swing of the bat but i mean the uh, panthers just don't have that draft capital to get those guys they brought in dj wonham uh clowny so i'd probably rather go for the center i'm gonna be honest i mean austin corbett's coming back but can he is he healthy i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go with the center i'm gonna go with zach frazier How high will Buffalo be willing to trade up to get a wide receiver? I honestly think they are in play at pick eight. I think if Roma Dunze is still sitting around or Malik Neighbors, they will pay the farm to get that guy. Part of me really believes that. Uh, Delaware is going to be going to the Conference USA. That makes sense. Uh, Trey Taylor and okay, I'll tell you, Stiggers is definitely getting drafted. I think Trey Taylor's more on that fringe. Uh, would you rather pay a corner or an edge of the same caliber? Golly, that's a tough question. I'm gonna be honest. I think I'd rather pay an edge. Like, corner, regardless, you need a deep cornerback room. But, like, you get that one edge that can, like, really create create havoc. It's kind of, kind of all you need for your pass rush. Really is. I mean, you could have some other guys that can kind of help out in the rotation and make everyone's job easier. But uh, even if you have one very good corner... If your corner two, corner three spots aren't that good either, then it doesn't really mean anything. So just give me a bunch of quality corners with that one just all pro um, edge player. Uh, Tyler Guyton going to the Niners. You got Jordan Morgan going to the Cardinals. And then Chop Robinson going to the Commanders. Uh, Big Ten will probably take UNC, UVA. Uh, well, UVA ain't trying to leave. Uh, Duke and Virginia and the SEC. Yeah, no, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens with all that. 
again, time will tell. It might just become it. It might just turn into two big. Well, technically three big super conferences because like Big Twelve, they won't die. That's the Big Twelve. They won't die. But they, I think, if anything, they die a slow death, like the uh, the former Big East. Big East had three, like you had Pittsburgh, Miami, and Florida State just bail, and then slowly they turn into the uh, the American Conference, the AAC, and now they're more of this group of five school. All right, Ennis Rickstraw Jr. is off the board, along with Kinsey Sue and Matea. Like I said, these wide receivers are still here for the taking. I think I kind of want to go with the freak. I love Ricky Parasol. I really do. But I think I'm going to go with the freak that's Xavier Leggett. Uh, what's your honest opinion on Walk the Mocks rankings, bro? I quit using them uh, a couple of months ago because they hadn't updated in a while, but I'm sure they have now. I mean, I, I, I still just use your own rankings. Just take guys for your high on. Uh, Atlanta gave up two firsts and a second and two fourths to move up from. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the Julio trade. Yeah, no, Y2S, yeah. I mean, I feel like. Romadunze and any other draft class probably be wide receiver one or two. Uh, would you take a slot corner or a linebacker? Probably a linebacker. Like the different, like, are we talking about like, wait, what do you mean, James? Like premier at their position, like the tippity top? Because the best linebackers at their position, for one, aren't getting paid as much and two uh it's just it's a it's a harder position to get right it truly is uh roger rosengarden going to the commanders and we got kamari lasser going to the jags uh acc adding california smu and stanford did they add smu i didn't know smu bailed I think I remember hearing that though. Dude, man. And the ACC is just. They've been waiting and begging for Notre Dame to come. Dude, Notre Dame, just join the Big Ten, dude. Just join the Big Ten, bro. You see, the ACC is the next, like, sinking ship. So join the Big Ten. Dang, SMU is in the ACC. I always forget about that. Okay, SMU, though. They're kind of hot. Devondre Sweat going to the Texans. Julio was drafted after uh, AJ Green. There you go. Hey, what up, Rossi? How you doing, buddy? Ross, you've been doing draft content recently, bro? Yeah, you've done a few mock drafts. Doing tight end upload. Are y'all just on the same channel as tight end? Are y'all just like united? Dude, I haven't talked to tight end uploader forever, man. That's a good dude. Okay, yeah, y'all aren't. 
I swore y'all were separate YouTube channels. Aren't y'all? Man, I'm just ignorant, man. That's all me. I'm just ignorant. They just need to rework college football entirely. Eh, we'll get in there. When Notre Dame joined the Big Ten, means Illinois will have to leave. <laughs> Keon Coleman going to the Steelers, by the way. Uh, who do you see having Darius uh, Saw or Jermaine Johnson like fall this year? So, well, I mean, I don't think Darius fall fell that much. What, he fell to 23? Think? It wasn't later. Thinking back, it didn't feel that way. Oh, uh, I could see Jared Verse. I could see the edges. NFL, you don't feel like a ton of teams need edge, and if they do, they got probably bigger needs than that or more vital needs. Uh, Kool Aid, but man, the NFL is not high on Kool Aid anyway, so. I feel like Jared Verse. Jared Verse feels like the name. Yeah, that feels right. That feels like the name. Ooh, Trey Benson going to the Raiders. That's fun, but I really do believe they believe in uh, Zaire White. Uh, how far does your boy Leonard Taylor fall? I wouldn't mind the Packers taking a flyer on him in day three. I think he's probably an early day three pick at this point. Uh, not to mention Notre Dame has a contractual obligation to join the ACC if they join any conference. Where they are in the ACC and other sports. Ah, that's uh, okay. I didn't know about that, but I mean, I knew they were in the ACC and other sports, but I didn't know if that was like they were binded, like football. They had to do that too. I'd really like Mason Smith to go to the Birds. Also, would like Stoutland to get uh, Brandon Coleman and Caden Wallace. Those, are, those two guys are pretty solid. Pretty solid. How would you fix the BCS playoff, or is there any true fix for it? I think a six-team playoff is perfect. I think that's the fix there. I don't think there's, like, many years where we're like, oh, man, there's, like, ten playoff teams. No, you typically know who the best th four to five, well, yeah, five to six teams are. I would say do a six-team playoff. Like 12 feels like too much because you don't want the guys to get hurt. That's a problem. You keep adding all these games. Teams by the end of the stretch aren't going to be the same as they were at the beginning of the year, you know? Like, for, for instance, Jordan Travis injury. Granted, that happened prior. You had Amarius Mims go down. Uh, in the SEC championship game. Like, too many games, and you're not, like, you, you just, it's just not going to, it's not going to go well. You're not going to really, it's going to be who's who's the healthiest. And that's more so the NFL. But the NFL, that matters a little bit more because, it's like, who, it's not just the teams that have the best players, but the teams that have, like, uh, done the best best job at developing and bringing in depth. But I thought I, I really do think a, we we just needed a six team playoff. I think twelve was too much, but I didn't mind it. Now they're talking about moving it to fourteen, and I think it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, I don't mind watching more football. Don't get me wrong, but in college football, I think we just needed six. All right. Uh, I don't get the West Coast ads to the big. Ten or Maryland or Rutgers, uh, they don't belong. But Penn State and Nebraska does belong in the Big Ten. I mean, the teams are just going where the money goes. Panthers Nation, uh, which receiver do you think is the best fit for the Bills at the end of the first round? Uh, obviously, if there is no Brian Thomas option back there, I feel like it's. 
I mean, you just lost a really mean route runner. I honestly do think Adonai Mitchell would be a really good pick up there. I think Xavier Worthy, or Xavier Worthy, Xavier Leggett is also running through my mind there. Uh, all right, we see a run on wide receivers right here. So first off, uh, Darius Robinson goes to the Saints. Mason McCormick goes to the Colts. You got Ricky Parasol going to the Chiefs. Troy Franklin going to the Packers. Malachi Quarterly to the Bengals. Chris Braswell going to the Eagles. Uh, would a Colts trade up to eight for a Don a Dunze beast? A smart move. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, Ibram. Hey, I think I think I think that's kind of nice. At that point, you're kind of hoping that at the corner position, you did a good job developing uh, Juju Bretts, Jalen Jones. Is it Jalen Jones or Jalen Johnson? No, no, it's Jalen Jones because J Jalen Johnson's uh, <laughs> Bears. Getting my corners mixed up. <laughs> Got a corner to get mixed up there, Jalen Johnson. That ain't the one. Yeah, Jalen Jones. Um, They have Dallas Flowers, but he was hurt all last year, I think. He was supposed to be the starter. So, I don't mean, I, you're just kind of hoping you'd, you'd those guys developed well. Uh, I picked for the Colts. Is Mason going there or going there too high? No, I think Mason's like a midday two pick. I think that's fine. What is the likelihood for each one of the top four quarterbacks to fall out of the top 15? I honestly think at this point, like J.J. McCarthy obviously has the best chance. But even there, I'd put it at like maybe 20, 25% at best. Maybe the smoke was was real. The smoke and mirrors is all it was. But at the same time, I feel like he still goes top 20. Like him falling out of the top 20 or top 25, to me, is kind of hard to believe. Uh, Tyler Newbin, by the way, going to the Packers. You got uh, Mike Sane was still going to the Rams. Uh... Like I just I I I think it's zero on Drake May and especially Jaden Daniels if he ends up going like if the rumors are true about him going at two, but I don't see Drake May getting like falling out of the top fifteen whatsoever. Uh, Sangi, how early do you think Trevin Wallace goes? I think he could go top one hundred. That's where I have him. I mean, look at this linebacker class. This linebacker class ain't it, bro. Edwin Cooper, by the way, going to the Raiders. Uh, like I only have five linebackers inside my top 100. And then, shoot, inside my top 150? Oh, golly. How many, li how many linebackers do I have in the top 150? So, stops there. I got 11 linebackers in the top... Oh, you can make a case for 12. It's just not a good, just not, it's not, it's not a great class. Like there's a ton of mid to late day three guys you might want to take a shot on, but it is what it is. Thoughts on walk the mock seven round mock with trades. Uh, did we already do that? We haven't done that yet. I think that's coming. We're going to do that before the draft. Don't worry about that. That's on the way. Uh, Roman Wilson's this year's tanked out. No, they're not the same player. Uh, I think Roman Wilson's more akin to like Jaden Reed, uh, who was coming out of Michigan State last year, drafted by the Packers. Uh, I was kind of hoping Jacob Cowan was going to be the tank Dell, but didn't have the uh, off season to really justify that. Kind of is what it is. Can it ease? What did ease?
All right, Browse pick is in. All right, Braden Cooper or Braden Cooper. <laughs> Braden Fisk. I was reading Edwin and Cooper at the same time. Uh, who do you think is this year's Puka? I hate that question so much. It's a good wide receiver class. If we're talking like, oh, who was a fifth year or a fifth round wide receiver that could end up being a stud? I mean, there's really no one that had like that has the build. Like, Bornoy, maybe? Damari Thrash? Jaquan Jackson? I mean, those, those, are, those are names I'll throw out, but, I mean, what, what mid-day three pick do you think is going to be a top 10 wide receiver in the, in the league is kind of a tough question. Because if you see a top 10 wide receiver potential, typically you have those guys high. The thing was, man, they came out of nowhere. Uh, we got Christian Haynes going to the Dolphins. I love that pick all the time. Cole, he says, I feel like predictive mocks aren't good productive until the week of the draft. What are your thoughts? Yeah, tip I don't release my predictive mock until the day of the draft where I'm just knee deep in these rumors. I'm knee deep in these rumors and it just screws me. And it just screws me and it screws me hard. I remember I bought into the Will Levis hype. Not not like to big degree, to, to a point where I was like, I can't have Will Levis outside. Like I was doing my mocks and I was like, I don't know where I fit him into my top ten, man. Like, I think he would fall out of my top ten. Uh so I just kind of shoehorned it. I forced it, and I forced a trade. Um, like, I mean, it's fun. I mean, most of the time, you'll be like, most of the time, people, if you do a predictive mock, you're lucky to get five to six picks right. And if anything, it more show it the a predictive mock that close to draft. It more so showcases. Just the wildness and the the ludicrous of some of these rumors. <laughs> I, I think I even made room in the first round for Hendon Hooker. Like I kind of bought into the NFL, just loving this guy's personality. Uh, I will not be watching UFC uh, 300. I just don't follow UFC like I used to. Fifteen years ago. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Miami possibly leaving to the Big Ten? I prefer the SEC. I want them to stay where it's warmer. <laughs> it makes a little more sense, too. Southeastern Conference. Uh, Max Melding going to the Bucks. Uh, are we doing more than two rounds because round three is displayed at the ticker? Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. It just, it just shows you what picks are coming up next. The, if you scroll down... Over here, I can't go any further than round two. Patrick Paul, by the way, Golden Saints. Uh, you eat sushi tonight? No, I'm going to be eating sushi day three of the draft. I did have sushi night one of WrestleMania. And then I had pizza and wings night two. That was a good night. That was a really good night. All right, Peyton Wilson going to the Chargers. The USC is getting boring. They all fight and look the same. Only a couple of guys even have personalities. Golly. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I fell in love with, or I fell into the Levis hype. They had him going fourth to the Colts. All the way up uh, to the draft. All right, night, Nintendo Mike, be easy. Uh, well, what would you rank the Rams draft class last year for all-time draft class? I don't do all-time draft classes. That's kind of tough. Uh, you go check out my 
I did. I ranked this past year's, or yeah, I, I re ranked this past year's draft classes. Went over, hey, this is what my grade was after the draft. I'm stupid. This is what I what it is now based on how they've played uh, and what they've gotten after it. But uh, thoughts on Panda Express? It's American Chinese food. It's I. It's fine. It's it's Chipotle. It's Chipotle. <laughs> Um, but the Ram, I, I love the Rams draft. They picked a bunch of guys I loved: Byron Young, Kobe Turner. I was big fans of those guys. Uh, we got Marshawn Nealon going to the Texans. Outside of Stenson Bennett, which I was like, that's a terrible pick at the time. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, bro, Schmo, he doesn't like Stenson Bennett. He's just hating on a guy that had all this college football success at quarterback. Think it is not going to translate. No, no. Dude's a short keen. Dude is a future car salesman. Playing quarterback for Georgia. <laughs> Consider the Rams didn't have a first rounder. They had the best class, in my opinion, considering the situation. I don't disagree. I feel like at the same time, though, it's like you can't discount. I get it. The Texans, they had pick two and three. But more importantly, they didn't whiff. They actually got the best offensive and best defensive player in the draft. They didn't whiff. They got exactly what they needed. I feel like I feel like you gotta give it to the Texans. But they had two and three. Yeah, yeah, they had two and three. And guess what? They hit on both. The Rams, for what they had, did a hell of a good job. And it's up there with the best draft classes, but I find it hard not to say, like, hey, the Texans, though. Hidden, hidden, hidden second overall and third overall just kind of means a little bit more. Uh, Braylon tries going to the Lions. And Express doesn't give me the craps like White Castle. Uh, we got TJ Tampa going to the Ravens. Jaden Hicks, by the way, uh, going to the Bills. All right, down to the last two picks here. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, what about... The Super Conference. What Super Conference? The SEC? can't really see that. The SEC had an off year last year. SEC and the Big Ten, they're the best conferences in college football. I feel like everyone could agree on that. You don't have to pick one. They're both really good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like it. Keon, maybe out any other falls besides Ricky. I mean, with how bloated, like how good this wide receiver class is, it's inevitable that some of those guys are going to fall. Uh, Chris Jenkins going to the Rams, and, or Rams, <laughs> sorry Niners fans. Chris Jenkins going to the Niners and Javon Baker going to the Colts. I like me, Javon Baker. All right, let's run through this sucker. Arizona Cardinals. I'm not going to go through the trades because a lot of y'all's trades were nonsense. I'm going to say that. A lot of y'all's trades were nonsense. Marvin Harrison Jr., Jared Verse, and Jordan Morgan. That's a solid draft. Atlanta Falcons, Dallas Turner, and a strike straw. That's a solid draft. Uh, we got Kingsley Suomatea, TJ Tampa. That's a fine draft. That's fine. I mean, they moved. Okay, they moved back. The second round took Kingsley. That's actually pretty good. Buffalo Bills, Xavier Worthy, Jaden Hicks. That's fine. Carolina Panthers. This was me. I took Zach Frazier and Xavier Leggett. Let me know what you think. Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams, Roman Dunze. It's kind of a dream. We're hoping it happens. Cincinnati Bengals, Marius Mims, Malachi Corley. Corley's an interesting one. I mean, with Tyler Boyd gone. I mean, he's still a free agent, ain't he? Boyd's still out there. 
Ain't that wild? Still a free agent. Man, that is wild. Uh, but it makes sense. Uh, we got Cleveland Browns took Brian Fisk. Makes a ton of sense. Cowboys, they traded for Troy Fontenu. Who's going to be their guard? I don't know. Could be Smith. Could be Fontenu. Denver Broncos trader for J.J. McCarthy. We got Detroit Lions going with Kool-Aid and Braylon Trice. Solid players. Packers go Alou Fashanu. We got Troy Franklin and Tyler Newbin. Houston Texans, Devondre Sweat, Marshawn Nealon. Again, Sweat, like, just because I deemed him on the whole DWI, you had a history of, like, being a party animal early on in your collegiate career. Doesn't like this is this is approximate value for Devondre Sweat. So I'm not gonna fault that pick there, by the way. Just because I have him way down lower because of the con character concern. I know where I had him initially. So Marshawn Nealon, I love. Indianapolis Colts, Cooper DeGene, Mason McCormick, Javon Baker. A lot of guys I like. A lot of guys I like. Jaguars go Brian Thomas Jr. and Kamari Lasseter. I don't know if Lasseter is going to be a good fit for uh, Nielsen's system. Uh, we got Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs, they traded down. Got Ricky Parasol. Okay. Chargers, they go Malink Neighbors, Peyton Wilson. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. They traded down, then traded back up. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Rams, they go Johnny Newton, uh, Mike Sainer still. Sainer still ain't really a fit. Ain't really a fit. Good player, not a fit. Uh, plus, Quinton Lake kind of locked up that safety role last year. Trout will help sweat find God. <laughs> I love it, dude. I hope that he does. Uh, you got the Raiders, uh, Nate Wiggins, Trey Benson. I love Trey Benson, but I, again, I really, I think the Raiders believe in Zamir White. If it's me, I'm sending it. I love Trey Benson. <laughs> I would do it. Uh, and then they go, uh, Edwin Cooper. Uh, we got Miami Dolphins, Christian Haynes, Byron Murphy. Honestly, I would love if the Dolphins, if they can't move back, get extra picks. This is kind of like my dream here. Minnesota Vikings trade up for Drake May. We got New England Patriots. They go to Lenisa Fuaga. We got to Latu and then Bo Nix. That's actually a very interesting draft for the uh, Patriots. Uh, the Saints, they go Adonai Mitchell, Darius Robinson, and then Patrick Paul. Giants, they go Brock Bowers and Michael Penix. Kind of whatever. Kind of high. JC Latham going to the. Uh, Jets, we got Eagles, Terry and Arnold, Chris Braswell, Steelers go Graham Barton, Keon Coleman, Seahawks go with Quinion Mitchell. Actually, I love that. Talk about secondary, trying to get that Legion of Boom back. Uh, right now at safety, though, they're kind of wild at safety. Because, I mean, they released uh, Diggs and Adams, which, yeah, of course you do. Those guys are expensive and... Honestly, at this point, not worth it. But, I mean, currently they got Julian Love, who is fine. Uh, Kobe, they, well, they brought in Rayshon Jenkins, who's a really good box. Avon Wallace, good depth. Kobe Bryant, we haven't really seen much of him since he's made the transition to safety. Niners, they go Tyler Guy and Chris Jenkins. Buccaneers, Jackson Powers Johnson, Max Melton. That's honestly a pretty good draft. Does he tight ends? Joel, Ladd, McConkey. That feels hella fun. Then Washington Commanders, Jaden Daniels, Shop Robinson, and Roger Rosengard. Honestly, very, very interesting. Very interesting. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, I'm going to be trying to work on getting uh, my final prospect rankings out to y'all. Um, within the next next week the next week so i might drop like my wide receivers video this weekend maybe if not monday 
And then you're definitely going to, at the very least, get corners on Wednesday. And then we'll probably wrap up the week with a my top 20 or top 200 big board. So be on the look for that. But thanks again. If you haven't already, please hit that like button on the way out. Uh, we only got 56 likes. Let's, just, let's try to get that sucker up to 100. It's always much appreciated. Much oblige. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.